I have a new job. I now work in a large state university, and we are interested in asking questions about how well do students retain their statistics knowledge semesters after they've actually left the course. So what happened is 155 students were selected from four different majors. There are statistics majors, mathematics majors, sociology majors, and psychology majors. And just before graduation, each of them is given a a final exam from a stats one class. So the question is how well will they do on it? How well did they retain the material from their stats one course that they haven't had in several semesters? The idea being that perhaps those who use statistics more often in their career would remember it better than others. So we need to test with 95 percent confidence is there really a difference in the mean score of any of these groups? This is an ANOVA because I have four different groups. I have one factor that's separating them, their college major, and that's into four different groups. I could do a whole bunch of two sample t-tests, but if I start to do a whole bunch of two sample t-tests, if I pair them up and keep doing it, I increase my chance of a type 1 error a ton. I don't want to do that, so I really want to do one hypothesis test where I can control the chance of a type 1 error. It'll only be 5% because it's the same as my significance. So. We're going to do an ANOVA. Our null hypothesis is that the mean of the stat majors is equal to the mean score of the math majors, which is equal to the mean score of the sociology majors, which is equal to the mean score of the psychology majors. All right, our, our alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference, that at least two of them are different, or you can say not all of them are the same. At least two of the means are different. Or you could say that they're not all the same. There's more than one way to phrase it. Now remember, in an ANOVA, even if I were able to accept the alternative, it wouldn't tell me which two were different. It would only tell me that they weren't all the same, that at least two of them were different. Maybe more than two of them are different. But it doesn't tell me how many are different, and it doesn't tell me which ones are the ones that are different. All right, so we are going to perform an ANOVA. We're going to go to stat ANOVA. And this is a one-way ANOVA, because there's only one factor that is separating these people, and that's their college major. So I'm going to say one way. Now, I have two choices. Either the response data is in one column for all factor levels, or it's in separate columns for each factor level. So the question is, did I put all the test scores in the same column in my worksheet, or did I put the stats majors in one column, and the math majors in another column, and the sociology majors in another column, and the psychology majors in another column? Here you can see in my worksheet, I've got all the exam scores in column two. I did everybody together, and I just put their major in column one. So I have all of them in one column. I'm going to leave it like this. So it wants to know, what's the response? The response is the actual thing that I'm looking for the means on. In this case, it's exam score. And you'll see it doesn't even give me major as a choice, because it knows it can't be text. So exam score is really my only option. The factor is, what is the factor? What is the thing that's making each of these groups different? That's their college major. So major is their factor. I'll click on options. I want to work at 95% confidence. And I'll assume equal variance. That's fine. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to say OK. And we get a, pl a nice graph that this is showing me where the mean of each of the groups is, and it's also giving a 95% confidence interval on the means. So it does look like there might be some difference, but it might not be statistically significant. So there is also a lot of overlap. Let's go to our session window, and let's look at our p-value. Now I'm going to have to scroll up a little bit to find it, but there's my p-value right there, 0.198. I was working at a 95% confidence, or a significance of 0 0.05, so this is a high p-value. The p is high, the null can fly. There is not sufficient evidence to reject the claim that all four groups have the same mean score on the exam. There's not enough evidence to reject the null, which said that all of the means are the same. I'm not saying the means are the same. I can never accept a null. I'm just failing to reject it.